Oui, Welcome to Light the Cow! Jane McFadden and Kenny Miller, boys, how are we doing, alright? I'm good, mate, I'm good, yeah. How are you? You're nervous? I've I'm gen- I, I know I talked to you right now, I did tell Lies all the time, you know that, right? But I've not slept all <laughs> night thinking this. <laughs> I actually don't know where I go, that thing, that's something my man and Dal said to why do you always constantly tell Lies? <laughs> Wait, so where is the boss? Where, where is he? He's about Italy, isn't he? By the oh, way, is, is Derek alright? Anybody spoke to him? Has is, is anybody heard of oh. Derek? Fudd's in it. Is, he's in Italy, isn't he? No, is, de- is he not about Italy, is he Lewis? No, he's away. Somebody told me genuinely they seen him and he was on, in the airport going to America. America. Oh, yeah, yeah. he's away to see, see the, the sheriff. Do yeah, yeah, so you think that was actually true, no, that story? Right. Just as well, because so, there's big floods in, next to Bologna. I've seen that. Oh, right. in Italy? What? Uh, he's he's got sun shining wherever he is. It's a is it? Aye. Big time. I've seen uh, Negri posted it on his thing. Aye. Aye. Big time. He's cancelled the Formula One. The amount of rain, sick. floods, people. But Sai's alright, he's, he's, he's got the sun. He's loving it, isn't he? No, I'm not sun. interested if he's alright or not, I'm just worried if Derek's alright. Should <laughs> <laughs> you a wee break for Sai, innit? Need a wee break for him? You do. No, he bothers me. So you just don't get used to it. I've got a feeling there's going to be a lot of tension today. Why? Because there was a debate cracking on about a month ago who was the best player that he used to. And I think when the both views came on, it was a wee bit. No, no, but let's get this right. There was a debate between you and Sai. <laughs> <laughs> not yeah. between anyone else when you were on you were the best I mean I was, on, I was the best no, but two has answered it the same way he's not the same as me and I'm not the same as him Aye. but we worked well together a player, but... uh, he did say that and you didn't say that about him no though. it's you, but you I, I worked harder he was a better no player. when you <laughs> when you play football you think you're the best player yeah or else Aye. you're doing it wrong you think you're the best and you'd never say it in public you just Aye. say I'm the best but we worked really well together. Would, but would you ever be... argue? I can imagine he would. You know what? You would think that back. I don't think... Yeah. Like, because you know, see, because you're the forwards, you kind of... Back each other. You, Aye. Me and him used to argue with defenders. Aye. <laughs> no, you used to argue. I have to back him up. <laughs> <laughs> see, that team... But do you think... I, I'm going, it's not about that today, but do you think that team... You should have done better? With the, score, with the talent you said? You know, I always say, listen, we had some b- bad games as a, as a group, right? But it was really, really hard for us yeah, to qualify. Yeah. Like, really tough. He's played you know, he's, he always had, you're always probably going to get second to like the big hitter in the group if, if you've done had a good group, by the way. And then you're getting a playoff game. Like you, you never had two and three spots well. now. You, you, you never had Nations League situations. Like it's, it was tough for us to qualify, and we went close a couple of times there. But we just every, uh, we every group we'd lighter. have Italy, Germany, aye, aye, for, the, well, the year we nearly got there, France, France Italy, Italy, and Ukraine. Ukraine yeah. and that was the World Cup. Finals that year you had the in the same finals, group, wasn't it? And, I think you and the quarterfinals, quarter right? It was incredible. And that was the closest we went, yeah. oh, but apart from the playoff against Holland. Uh, we were finally got the winner and then we thought we had made it and got scotted 6 0 <laughs> four days later. <laughs> <laughs> it was brilliant. Uh, but, aye, it was, it's not, I wouldn't say it's easier because when, when we played, it was the traditional big nations were all brilliant. They were so far ahead, aye. but the rest of the teams have all caught up, caught up and you look at it's there is more routes and, and there's more chances, there's right. more spots, the yep. tournaments are bigger, but <laughs> obviously we're disappointed we never made it, but to say should should, should we have done better? No. And so a couple one of games with Georgia game. The Georgia away game. game. And certain games, I think uh, even Norway away when we got battered. No. There's like games where you look at that the Georgia game cost us, no doubt about it. But again, we've got bonus points against France. Home and away yeah, that that game, yeah. no, but that game does obviously stick in the mind that we, that we could have done better. But uh, there's campaigns where we did have poor results. Right. Yeah, but of course you could have done better. But even this group, though, as much as they've, they've got the like the, that Kazakhstan game, yeah. where, you know, you can do better in that. There's other games where they could have played better and and got the result. Bottom line is, it's there is different routes now. There's more spots available. There's a different, there's a wee back door with the Nations League, so it was tough like for us to actually qualify. I think that better. spell where we nearly done it we the France and Italy campaign was probably one of the only times we had mostly a settled squad. And when we did not, it was that's when we suffered. Like yeah. the Georgia game, a few of the boys pulled out. So we didn't have a full team. Whereas the new, we seem to have Aye. a full squad all the time. And it definitely helps because the manager, we we ten days to coach as well, Aye. but the manager now has got maybe three days preparation I for I think a, there's maybe a, 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 a broader, like... <laughs> A higher level yeah. across the squad yeah. now is what I would say. I'm fairly playing. So, like Paddy says, when if we were missing a few bodies, maybe it, it couldn't quite kind of deal with it. Whereas now I think there's a right strong squad yeah. there, and even guys that are not in this, we're making squads now. Is uh, 
There's some mm-hmm. guys that are unlucky not to play, and there's guys that are unlucky not to actually be in the squad. See, before we move on, I just want to ask you, did you struggle coming out of football and still the new? Do you struggle away from it? No, I don't. Do you not? No. I thought you were doing something because even at the end you used to love uh, keep getting in and playing. I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't play anywhere near how good I used to. Did you so struggle with that? That was a wee bit of frustration. Uh, you just deal with it. Deal with it. Uh, what, I didn't I enjoyed it. The training was great. I enjoyed playing and trying. But then I, I was I was kind of retired by other people. I got a job as a coach and then... I wanted to keep playing, that was at Motherwell, so I played on for six months at Queen of the South and then I got offered the job to coach Scotland and I thought, well, I remember Big Elvis done it, he was still playing and, yep. and coaching and I think you have to do one or the other. So mm-hmm. in that case, so it wasn't a bad job to, to get up playing for. And no, I get asked this all the time, do you miss playing? I don't because I don't think about it. I find I that I still was. And if I never had the injuries that I had, I probably still, still would be playing. Been in some capacity but you just have to deal with I'm I'm at games twice a day aye, nearly every so day every <laughs> so, day aye. so uh, it keeps me busy I always wonder, wonder that though because a lot of players they see when they come away from it they really struggle he played to I you don't, I don't struggle played, I miss it I miss it badly but I don't I don't struggle I mean yeah I was the same it's funny I played till, till 40 but I actually left retired to go to Australia I need to coach right. so so uh, and even when I was in Australia, we were still kind of talking like next year we'll be registering you and black, like, maybe get, get you playing. So like, I reckon I still would have been playing now yeah. had, I, had I know, because I was fortunate with injuries. Mm. I never had any real bad injuries that kind of like stopped me from playing or would have stopped me from playing. And I still felt decent. It's t- tougher when you drop, dr- drop yeah. down the levels a bit because it becomes kind of standards are not quite the same. Uh, I think the day-to-day stuff. Is, is I not the same. You, when you drop as well, you're you're dropping because you're no obviously at your peak. Yep. And when and you drop, they'll sign people, a forty year old. No. <laughs> people think you're at your peak. Uh, they think you can still do everything yeah. you used to do. So they just wait for you to do it sometimes rather than bring that's you the thing I wasn't the that, that's the thing. So when you go back to that debate, I wasn't that player that could maybe go do things and make things happen for I'd done my job and done it well. You know, and I relied on probably a more service than maybe what you needed at times there so it was frustrating that, that side but listen that 40 I don't struggle with it but I miss it you know I think everybody well, if you could still be playing you would still be playing yeah, you know mm-hmm. that's the way I'd put it but it's uh, oh, I I, but right. it's, you're, you're at games most weeks uh, most mm. I mean, two three times a week watching kind of keeping in either way you're working or, or just watching so you're always in and around it but See, again, the coaching side and all yeah. when, you're, when you're working and you go to games and you've got the, the buzz and you've got nerves and but you're Worried that you go, it goes well and you win, and then when you if you lose, then that's you for well, a couple of days, isn't it? But when you do the do the punditry side, you just go, can't wait to see this game. Hope it's a cracker. <laughs> if it's a cracker, right. you go brilliant. You leave, that's it done. If it's mm-hmm. if it's rubbish, you leave, that's it, it does done. Take but your life, coaching, you're yeah. non-stop. It is I mean, coaching is different now because it's on because it falls so on you. you. Yeah. It falls on you a wee bit. So even like even <laughs> as an assistant or a coach, you, you, you still feel that. Yeah. I know. But the, 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 the flip side of it is, I always still get the buzz for the yeah. game day. You know, like we'd be going away to travel. If we were away from we Australia, and uh, games maybe at night, but we've been on an overnight because it's. You have to fly to get to the games. I would still have my nap during the, <laughs> during the <laughs> afternoon. Like the camera would be saying, "Well, we're going to get a wee woman." No, no, I'm, I'm going to my bed. He's like, "What do you mean? I'm going to my bed. I'm getting my nap. I mean, I need to get myself ready for this game." Huh? He's like, oh, "I want to go for a walk." I thought, "No, I'm going for my wee couple hours. I'll get and have my pre-match, and then we're uh, ready to go." So, because uh, I still had the buzz for the game, you know, right, right buzz for it. Uh, is that why you st- is that why you want to maybe stay into coaching and rather maybe going down the media route because you missed that? But no, fact, that's, that's, that's what I want to do. You know, I mm-hmm. love doing the media stuff. It's, it is, it's brilliant. You know, you're, you're at games, you're 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 there watching, whether it be you're commentating or you're watching for maybe a highlights or <laughs> or or a kind of if you're on that the, like the studio where you're kind of analysing at half time and in, in post game, it's great. It is because you're talking football. You know, you're talking football, and you're also you're also keeping your face in there just in case if that's something you want to do. Like your face is getting in there, you're kind of staying relevant. But no, I, I want to be on the grass eventually. Get that chance to go back in, and there's there's none but better for me. Like the next best thing to playing is is preparing a team to then go play. Ma- and then, management or coaching? I, you know either either because I have I always I always see management being 
like the end goal. But as you know, it's opportunity. Right. It's somebody get, get, giving you an opportunity. You're sitting in front of somebody and them looking at you saying, this is the guy that I want to take my club forward, you know? See but when you get, sorry, see when you get the opportunities, do you think about the club, the direction the club can go in, where you can take them? Or do you just think, I just want to get in. I'll just, no, no take any, right. Joe, but you're more lured by the fact that you're it's back right. in. See, because I've been in it and I've, I've not really made choices based on that. But I don't think I would make no. a choice just based yeah. on that to get back in. I think it needs to be... Buddy, we were on the pro licence. What did every top manager say? You had Mourinho, we had VS mm. Bosch, we had Mick Beale was on it, Roberto Martinez was on it at the end. We had some top, top managers, like elite level managers were on our pro licence speaking to us. And every you one of them... Hansi Flick. Yeah, I see there. It, was, I was, it, was, it was a hard one though, seeing in German. It was a great one. Anyway, I'm always done. I'm always done. No, it wasn't. It was I'm always done. Every one of them says the clubs have to be aligned, you know, yeah. there's no point in going in and just think right, you're jumping into something that's maybe not quite right for you because again, the right fit was used so many times yeah. over the course of that, that, that course with these top guys and they've earned the right that they can go and say, no, I didn't want that job, I'll move on but to the next one. that's the experience, right? isn't it? Correct. But <clears throat> I even think for, for like managers, younger managers, it still needs to fit. You know, there's too many things and even I've been involved in certain things where it's, uh, it's no right. You know, it's just not the right fit. It doesn't suit the personalities, the, 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 the direction clubs are maybe looking to go or, or not quite matching yeah, the ambitions yeah. that maybe you've it's got. It's hard though, isn't it? And it becomes tougher. Because everybody, or there's a lot of young coaches and managers that are desperate for that opportunity. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if you're offered that, it's hard to say, no, I'm going to let aye. this one slide because somebody else will come in yep, and take it and they might go and take it on and yep. before you know it, you're, you're not getting. You're not getting a like Kevin Thompson's kind of found himself a wee bit like that, <laughs> aren't he? I mean, he's been out of football. Is that right? That's a year now. A year. That's a year since the end of last Never season. Never thought that, wouldn't you have now? No, well, we've done well. I think he would have. Uh, he might have expected to have a, an opportunity before now, but there's there's a there's a two. Firstly, it's the opportunity getting sit in front of people, Aye. and then you have to take that oh. opportunity to get the big opportunity. You know, so yeah. it's uh, actually even getting that first stage is, is tough. Aye. You know, because I think a lot of a lot of clubs already know kind of what direction they might want to go in before. Oh, CVs who, and all that are submitted. It's, it's a bit of a nonsense to be honest with you. Want. It's, so it's, you uh, put your name in for jobs, you get. But there'll the be a, there'll be a lot. Of, there'll be a lot aye. Thanks. Thanks for all, your interest. Oh, by the way, or, or, or you don't get an answer. Because that's another thing with like with football. Some clubs <clears> don't even respond. Like you're yeah. going at your way to spend a bit of time do a CV and maybe put things together. They'll definitely to be prepared in case you do get in front of them and you don't even get a response. You know, it's no. I think we uh, Tom. Tom was wanting obviously the next step, but. If we're talking about being brave to reject an opportunity, he's probably thought whatever he was doing at that club at that time maybe didn't match his ambition. Aye. I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs of it, but I would say the decision would have been made based on how he could have done that job rather than what job he could get if he leaves. There'll be a lot of change going on in the summer, I think, and I think Tom yeah. will be right involved with. Will you be involved? Years. Who knows? As a number one. Who would knows? You be if, 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 something, if something came up that I fancied, that, then I, I, would, I would, I would go for it. But it's uh, again, it's getting the opportunity. I feel you might be more suited to number one. I think being an assistant or a coach can be really hard because at the end of the day, it's what the the manager depends says. who you're working with. Aye, depends who you're working. That's with. That's a big thing. Yeah. That is a big thing. Mm -hmm. But you're you're strong. You've yeah. always been strong with your beliefs. No, no opinionated in a bad way. Just this is what, how I see it. I yeah. think. You'd but that's why it depends who you're working with. Somebody yeah. needs to be really kind of in tune with what you're doing. And again, like working with Foz, he is, he is that way. Strong manager like me, but very what a good. Guy, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> what a guy. He's a legend, is he? Yeah. Oh, what a guy. Surely, he, mate, walking in the Bundesliga, doing the Championship, surely the Scottish team is. Yeah, yeah, wants to... I didn't even want to go on it because it's, yeah. ma it's mad that what, what, any he... club who has a job, maybe outside of the big two at the moment, who come, manager comes up, are no actually knocking his door. It's not even considered, is it? Because this guy, like, I, I, I say it all the time, I have says it on this show, how many guys, Scottish coaches, have actually done this in the Bundesliga? I know. You know, like, and by the way, done well, kept Hertha Berlin in the, in the, in the Bundesliga last year, and look at them now. They're, like, they're sitting bottom of the league. Why do you think that is? Well, I just think it, it's not, his name's not been in the, the, uh, the circles that, uh, in Scotland, I mean, again, you see it with the greatest respect. It's the same names that normally come up. I think sometimes you maybe look at it as well. Fozzie's one that needs to work. So he'll go and take a job at Cowdenbeef. He doesn't care. He'll go and help. Mm -hmm. He wants to coach. He wants to keep 
uh, coaching, then he goes away to Germany. So maybe teams are, are looking, going, well, he's been over there and maybe he's known tune me yep. what's happening here. Which is which is mental. nonsense because that's where he lives yeah. and it's, it's he goes mental. to the games every day. Anyway, that's the I've said it before. It is crazy that these these jobs again, like I say, outside of the big two at the moment, when their managers jobs up are actually not saying, you know what? It's at least worth a conversation. Yeah, I speak to him. You know, it's at least worth a conversation with this guy because Cut a day's what, conversation though, and it, like, it will last forever. It would, it would be a long one. <laughs> so I, I told, I'm told that. So, I, so what a story of it was. Right, we had just went on to the, and I've told, I've told him this because it was before we kind of really like we were, we've always been, we've always known each other, but, but, but as close as we're now. So we had a presentation we had to give one of the one of the times in a. Uh, it was like they've said it's not like you've got five minutes right this, you've got a five minute presentation no longer it can be shorter but it's no longer than five like, we'll, we'll have to cut you off so everybody's giving their things and again I've got my fucking stop clock right next to me to say right make sure I've practised it it's been 4.58 I'm in I'm in 4.58 I'm brand new I'm good to go it's Fozzie's turn I went this is, this is it I'm getting him on the clock 15 minutes and he's still, he yeah. was still going. It was the depth and the detail that he went into on the stuff and how passionate he is about delivering his message. I, I'm, I'm howling here. Well, obviously we're on mute on the zooms and I'm howling because I'm like, this guy's still going. He's still 15 minutes. He's still going on strong. And there was, there was no stopping him. No stopping him. And you knew it was uh, going to be that he's way. where you go, right, you've got five minutes and you're going, get in, get out. Ah, you get it I done. just want it done. I want it. Out. He's holding court. Oh, like, it's, I get know, it's sensational. It's sensational. He's a, he's that's a, the opposite. A lot of people. You're right. There. See, that's me. You're fucking wow. Three minutes. I'll try just goes, then. But, but this is like, <laughs> but this guy also right. So this is somebody when Jurgen Klinsmann's <laughs> coming to go to <laughs> Celtic Kilmarnock. Phones him to come to the game room. You know, he's oh, the way he goes right. to the Celtic Command at Game Room. These are the kind of the circles that he's been moving in yeah, in yeah. Germany. Has he been moving in the circles across here? Probably no, because he's no worked. In, in our Premier League but he's working with guys like Felix Magat uh, Tommy Oro and he's uh, Jurgen Klisman he's sitting there and speaking with guys like Yogi Oh even when we football, went away you know? um, to and he would quite, Euros, quickly tell you as well we were at the Euros last year and sitting in the crowd some boys like up just chatting with him German he's just oh, he's getting a big cuddle how are you doing <laughs> just bumping into people in Slovakia uh, <laughs> is you a Dundee boy hi there you go hi there you go. See, the, th the, the, the next level is, is, is does he want to actually take the, the opportunity if it was there? That, that would be the thing for him. But it would, for me, that's his choice. I think it's his choice. It's crazy. I think that the, the teams are not actually knocking his door. But anyway, let's move All on. Right, let's move on. Here. Last night, just before we go, because I'm still fuming, sat in the end for an hour and my food didn't get delivered to us. I thought you were going to say, what about the game last night? <laughs> <laughs> How you good one, man? Say? I better help, by the way. Anchor, he should have fucking stayed in England last night. He was brutal, by the way. Now, Man City were brilliant, and I'll not take it away from him. But his, I mean, after the ball, his setup is shocking. Aye. Wasn't it? But you've got to remember who he's, he's playing he's, against. He's, not he's, no, who he's dealing with as well. Like you're, it's, these guys are not used to chasing. <laughs> these guys are used to be sitting on the ball. It wasn't, well, it, it wasn't even just a setup. It was. They didn't even They try. kept trying to play. Man City were like, was good the ones, yeah. like sitting deep and pushing on, and they're like ringing the box. Off. Couldn't get there and they're like, right, we'll brilliant. keep trying passing it. I know they've not got the target, but even. Even threaten it and then got up and try and win it the was, uh, It was a masterclass, yeah. Oh, they were what? They're, they're, they're incredible. They're still a machine. I, th I think so, I. I think it's tough. I think he's definitely transformed the way football's played. I, everybody needs to try to find I think it, when it? you. I still. You look at the managers the good thing about them throughout the years. Is that is like they have all the good. So I'm saying that. Like, oh, look at they've got Benzema and they've got Chris and Modric and. Uh, Vinny Jr. And, and Rodrigo these guys are always on the ball so are Man City yeah. but look at B Bernardo Silva running look at Alan running look at De Bruyne running look at Gundogan yeah. the, the, the work is unbelievable yeah. how hard they work like to stop them because that takes as you know that takes a lot of chasing and work an organisation mm -hmm. to be that drilled to go and win the ball but they're it takes aggression like that, no Benzo so was a disgrace when you're playing, last night. playing like that you know they're going to get an opportunity Aye. but you could just see it come in the pass for uh, Bernardo Silva, De Bruyne, you're thinking that's not even on. Yeah. That's not even on. How's he, how's he played it like that? Perfect as well, right into his path. Um, Some team. But it's tough. It's tough, I think. But then, the, the they've got to go on and finish the job, though. <clears throat> they have to. They have to finish the job. The only thing is, you look at Real Madrid trying to play out constantly. Yeah. Short, short, inviting the press. Jekyll and Martinez. Yeah. They might not do it. And Lukaku as well. If he plays just 
just to even have that threat and miss the press. Aye. So it'll be a different game, but yeah. I still expect Man City yeah. to get the job done. The form they've been in, no just, no just lack. It wasn't a one off. They, they've no, been no. playing like that for. I mean, they did that in the back Right. I don't think that'd have been beat that performance against Bayern. Unbelievable. Bayern. That was unreal last night. Have you got your holidays back? I'm away a week tomorrow. Where yeah. are you going? Florida. What? Well, I can't can't wait. Is that where the family? Right, can't wait. You been to Florida before? No. Have you not? Four wins and I'll take them. Oh, you need to get them there. You need to get them there, lad. <laughs> How long are you there for two weeks? Aye. I was I was like that with Florida. I, I never quite fancy. I think oh, is it a holiday? It. Is a holiday really really walking about parts for 10, 12 days? Like it's solid, magic where the other one. It's oh. absolutely sensational. I'd love to see Big Neely. Can't wait. I'd yeah. love to see Big Neely Collins. You know what? I actually said that to, I'm, I'm thinking about it. If I can, I've, I've no worked out how far it is or whatever. To, uh, like for, they'll have for they'll Orlando, have games. They'll have games. Yeah. I checked. I actually did check. They've got a home game when we're there. Yeah, because I was planning on going. I'm, I got in yeah. touch with him. Says oh, I'm coming here. Says just to. Give him a That's some pro license chat again, big nearly calling. He's Marjorie Tampa Bay Rangers. I know, yeah. I know a few, but um, I could see if you ever want to go in the New York. Is it Red Bulls? Aye. If you want to go to them, just watch him, give a shout. Aye. Or LAFC. Give a shout. I can sort you out. Well, fair. Well, fair. I've got his boy. Aye. Yeah, it's the boy. <laughs> right, boys, we're going to go in there. Nothing happens with football on the spot. Faddy, and you love the offer, Faddy, didn't no. you? No, you don't today. I still love the offer. Now sign up with your first £10 bet. Sign up at gsport.com forward slash open go. Right, we're on to the biggie this weekend. Game of the weekend. Hearts versus Aberdeen. Can Hearts claim back third place for them? If they win, they've got a chance. <laughs> Can you see that happening? No. Do you know? No. Oh, why? Aberdeen, I just don't, they don't give anything away. But even at Tynecastle? I don't like Aberdeen. No. Like, you see the way they've been served, they've not conceded too many goals. Uh, they've got the threat. Uh, Duke Miofsky. Uh, no, I think, uh, I think Aberdeen will at least, at least get a point and just maintain that gap. I think Hearts can win. I think Hibs, I Hibs should have beat Aberdeen last week. I, they actually, I, they had a Played lot of well, opportunities, didn't they? But, Goes with, back to what Kenny's saying. The Aberdeen don't give you a lot, no. so you have to take your chances. Hearts obviously have to win. Um, I can see, I can see Hearts getting a, a win, I. But I still think it'd be tough to overturn and get into third place. You've got Hibs that are right behind them as well. It's not just you know Hearts and Aberdeen. Aye. So um, it'll, be a, it'll be a tough game, but it's one where it'll be packed. The Hearts fans would be expecting our team to win. How will Barry Robinson go about this? Will he go? Will he be there to hard to, be hard to beat? Get men behind the ball. That's how he plays. Isn't is that, is that but they've got that style? threat with, with Duke yeah. Mayofsky. Um They're well organised. Defend. Love defending crosses into the box. Mm -hmm. they, they, and they work so hard. Talk about yep. you know the top players doing it. Aberdeen work really hard off the ball as well. So I think that will be a case of being set up, being organised, but but having a platform to go and attack. Hearts will go and try and attack, get the ball forward. And as he's been saying it since he went in, mm -hmm. we want to get the ball forward quicker. We want to create better opportunities uh, going forward. So it should be a cracking game. Yeah. Good styles there because yeah. they're set up to Hearts. Hearts are going to play mm -hmm. with all the attacking players and try and go and take the game to Aberdeen because they need to win. Aberdeen are actually set up to transition yeah. really, really well. Yeah. They've done it at Ibrox. They were unlucky that day, actually. That, that, I mean, Duke should have probably scored two uh, before Rangers had even thought about scoring. So they're set up to play that way. So it'll be a really, it'll be an exciting game, that. Peter Haring back as well, won his appeal for the most ridiculous red oh card you'll ever see. That's just, a, that's just a non understanding of the game, that for me. Because everybody knows. But how many of them has there been this year, though? How many? And some of them got overturned, some of them don't, you know, because I think some of them are like, right, well, we can still get away yeah. with holding that. But like, that was ridiculous. But that's, that is the issue. You look at it and say, can we look at the criteria that's been met to, to uphold the decision rather than looking and saying, that's just wrong. Yeah, but that, that one, I don't know how they look at it and, and don't say you need to you need to go and look at the monitor because that isn't a red card. I've, no, I've no idea. I've no idea. So that's something. At least it's been overturned and he's available, but it doesn't it didn't help him last no. week, obviously. You played with both managers. Do you mean you played with both of uh, them? Nazi and Barry Robson, did you see them becoming managers? Oleg Aye. Nazi. No, so much maybe because I played one probably when I were long, yeah. younger, but the more I kind of spoke to him as he got older, mm. then I could see him definitely going to court. Listen, management's no easy. It's where you get your opportunity. You know, both of them found, found themselves, obviously, Barry's now got it. 
uh, on a permanent basis now, but both of them found themselves in that temporary position until <laughs> maybe further notice or until the end of the season. So what they've got is that opportunity to grab it. Well, well Barry grabbed it, seven wins in a row. Yeah. No many teams will do that outside of the old firm. They got the job. Nays is now still to probably convince the people at Hearts that he is the man to take it. That's if he, again, I don't know as he says he wants it. <clears throat> I know I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm sure he would want it. Ah, He's got to convince them. for it as well, do not you? Like, Especially like when you have that, yeah. that control now, so now it is on you, and if you want to be a manager, that's a brilliant opportunity to go and set your team up and show how good you are. Do you think the, the, the next few games will decide that for Nizzy, where the Hearts give the job, depending on the oh, results? Definitely. Well, I think he's done enough. No, he's not, <clears throat> no. not done enough, because there's still a chance that they finish fifth. Aye. So, um, I think that, I mean, you look at results, of course, that's that's what everybody looks at. They'll be looking at how he works, you know, <coughs> the ideas, the conversation. That should come into it though, Faddy, yeah? like it should come out. Like, <coughs> like, results <coughs> are always going to dictate Aye. whether a manager does well or not, or somebody like Stephen or Barry in their situations will dictate whether they get the opportunity to get the job permanently. But there is more to it, like Aye. you say, it's how they work, it's how they operate, how are they dealing mm. with, with, with things within the club, how are they working with the players to make them better and things. It's no just results, because as you know, Faddy, when you're in a rut that Hearts were in when he took over, it's, it's hard to turn that. Yeah, it right, really yeah, is. It's just like now they can still finish sixth. Well, they could do, eh? As well. So uh, I still think he's got to earn it. He's still got to earn it. Aye, but you're right, him being in, speaking to, to Joe Savage, to Ann Budge, watching how he works, looking at how if you don't get a result or a performance, is there changes made that, all right, you don't, maybe don't win the game, but the changes that had to be made, were they made, was it the right decision? These these things, they come into it, but ultimately, Robbie Nielsen lost his job because Hearts didn't yep. look like they were going to finish yep. up. So, I think that's difficult then if you don't finish, if you finish fifth or Hibs finish above you then it makes it difficult for, for you to go and really pitch for the job. I can't believe that, that they can still finish <clears throat> sixth. Crazy. I mean, it's well, by the way, that was a massive point they got last right. week, not to finish sixth with their two goals. Well, to did you think that was a penalty? Ah, it was Aye. a penalty. Did you say, I don't know, but it was, it, was a it was. It was a penalty. Don't yeah. he just throws himself down? But he pushes him. There is a, he, there he is pushes a, him, though. Push. I think he does throw himself, he goes yeah, soft. He makes the contact. But he pushes, he pushes him. Nah, he's... Poor but, decision. It's really no, poor decision. It's no like... Really close, he, the, the, the forearm comes out and Aye. on you go. Give because if chance, it doesn't, it's, this is my argument, and if it doesn't go down, he's not getting it. But does that mean does it's that, not a foul? Ah, exactly. Should that matter? Do you know what I mean? Players have to go no, down. To a get pen, it was a penalty for me. Yeah, uh, so sure. it, was a big, it was a big goal that for Hearts, actually, just to keep them to, to keep them that one point closer, to keep them above Hibs. And away for St Mirren as well. Aye. Andy after half time and all in it, 2 0 down, 2 0 <laughs> down. Right, that's the worst as a player in it. Oh, oh I thought that. I had it. I had it. That is the worst as a player that. I had it. I had it. I had it. Wolves. I had it. Wolves 3 0 3 0 down to Leicester at half time in the Prem. 1 4 3. There's nothing worse. It's not wrong. We won 6 3 if I'd get it on. But you you were the useless starter sometimes yeah. like, if you're on the bench quite a bit. And then you get a start and you go see you the subs blend, warming up, see subs warming up after 20 minutes. And it's not every, every game the subs go after 20 minutes, yeah. but you're going, Oh no, I know before half time at least. <laughs> 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 and you just go, fuck it. I'm coming off anyway. Well, and then you just relax worst. a wee bit. Honestly, that's the worst <laughs> feeling in football, that, isn't it? I just think Andy seed on the Saturday night when he went home. There's no worse. The thing is, I know, seeing Haring's coming back, he gets sent half, and they get yep. took half, and they manage to get a, get a result. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep me two 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 two. I bounce Haring's back, throw him back in the bench. <laughs> keep me to the house. Have you got to put your head on it? Or your hat on it? <clears throat> put your hat on it. Who's finishing third? Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Oh, Aye. both confident yeah. there. Well, it's what, the five, five point, points ahead. Five points, start with three games. Hopefully, come on well, now. They, they, they obviously <laughs> play... I'll take that for a league title. They'll win Their last game's... Celtic. So, oh, but if Hearts beat them, then it's all to fucking see, doesn't it? Aye, I'll change my mind next week. By the minute, <laughs> you would have to say Aberdeen. Nailed favorites. on Hearts next week. I'll be to get the win this week. <laughs> <laughs> right, boys, we're moving on. Rangers v Celtic. Now, before we came on air, I'll let the public know. Lock and Holmes, the threes, weren't we? With this game, were. no, we were actually on each other's side. Actually, it was because that. <laughs> no, we were because I, 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 I was quite vocal again on, on Monday. I wasn't clear my message what I was trying to say, but I'm, I'm still. Pardon and angry with fuming, yeah, fuming, fuming. Kenny. I'm still, still in me that I, when I seen the select team lineup come out, 
Wait a minute, are you actually questioning a great man? No, <laughs> are, are you? No, I'm not. No, 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 so, but, uh, He's not got tickets for the last few games, so. <laughs> Didn't he get in? <laughs> <laughs> just seem having a whack <laughs> No, but it just, I, I, I mean, people are saying, oh, well, Rangers change players, but uh, Bill. Do you need to do a manager of the year interview? Aye, aye. 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 Oh, what a decision! Well, there you go. That's what I'm giving you. No, but I'll tell you. I, I just I, I actually did enough, so I'm not going to say. It. I'm going to leave it up to you. Go on. No, go no, on. No, so it was just the team. When I seen the team, honestly, I, I couldn't believe it. And people sort of go, "Well, Rangers had changes." And but Bill, they're what, how many points behind Celtic? This team have beat Rangers all season. You're going for I, I, the, the sort of points record. I'm not overly bothered. It's just the a game of that size and what it means to supporters, what it means to fans. I couldn't work out with the, the Burnaby one, who I don't think he's at, he's no proved that he's at Taylor's level since he's come in, and he's not played in two months. It's hard to then go and say, right, you've not played in two months, when you go in a game like that. Kilo, your best player this season, sitting on the bench. Um, the other ones was forced, I get that, with Johnson, it had been out. Um, so I just didn't, it, I still, I still, when I think it, I still quite baffled by the, he's thinking on it. I think it, you look at the game and, there's never, n- never a meaningless game between the two. Yeah. There never is. But you looking at players like Burnaby, can he handle it? You're getting into Ibrox, there's no fat Celtic fans there. It was packed. Um, oh, what has he got for the start? Because all we're seeing is, is maybe games where Celtic are comfortable, they're going to get chances. Can he be there if you need them? Can Burnaby be there if you need them? Um, so I think that I mean, he's come out and it's after the event, you would say, aye, well, I maybe shouldn't have made the changes, but you make the changes for the reason of how they're going to play, how they're going to handle it. They're no on trial, but you want to see if they're going to be part of the squad next season. Can you rely on them when it comes to the crunch? Um, so I, I get it. Last week we're talking about Rangers and everybody agreed, put some young players in. Does it matter about the result? Let's see. You know how they how they perform. So Ange goes and says, "I'm going to play two guys." That by the way, they're no they're no young players. Mm-hmm. They're, they're no players that have no had the money. Well, yeah. So y- you go and see how they are, and they didn't they didn't play well. I thought Rangers were excellent. I thought that when you look at Greg Taylor, and and Keogh was the obvious one, but Greg Taylor <clears throat> comes into that that wee area in midfield and he plays the ball forward. The two fullbacks, Ralston and Burnaby, got the ball. Turned back, Turned played back. back. Rangers sat off. They, their tactics were spot on. They sat off, allowed the two centre backs to have it. They were trying to force passes into midfield. Rangers going press, won the ball back, and then the longer the game goes on, less and less the, the two full backs are taking the risky passes, and, and that's what Celtic they went in the build up. They build up with their five players, their two centre backs, two full backs that come inside, and Cal McGregor. Cal McGregor was man marked, so he couldn't really have the influence that, yeah. that he normally has. But the two full backs wouldn't take the ball and go forward, and that's that allowed Rangers to go and press and, and, and go and get, get the baffling. ball after them. His position was baffling at times. Like I know, it shows you how good Greg Taylor is. I know because when he's not playing, you miss the fact that he's he's comp- his energy, he's competitive, but he'll take the ball under pressure. He'll try and play forward passes. He'll keep going. He'll keep going. Whereas Bernabe's he's, he's, he's not as good as Greg Taylor. As simple as yeah. that. What did you make of the? I'm going to ask you to both the the, the lineup itself and the game itself. Yeah. <clears throat> lineup. It's only as much as there was a few changes. Fairly so. It's two. It's two ch- like decisions that he made in terms of Bernabe and O. They, they never played well, you know. But what I would say to them is, I don't think any of the Celtic players really got at the level. No, you know, Cal McGregor was the quiet. I thought Hattati was really really poor. Aye. And quiet. Yeah. By yeah. the way, and I know he's had his wee injury issues over the last month or so. But I thought he was quiet and, and no great, never influenced the game, never really gone to the game at all. O'Reilly, I mean, I like O'Reilly. I thought he, he, he was all right, but I just don't think any of the players were, were at the level. But again, I think Rangers have to get a bit of credit for that. Yeah. The last three times Rangers have played, the game itself took part the semi-final and then at the weekend, off the ball, their, their setup's been really, really good to stop Callum McGregor getting on it and dictating mm. it. So whether it be the midfielder jumping up or whether it be one of the strikers dropping off into him, They've, they've got it right. You, they're forcing them into areas where, again, when, you know that again, Michael was one of these guys that, pre, that, that presented on a pro license and he talked about owning the pitch, owning the ball, that type of thing. Ultimately, you want control when you've got the ball, but also when you've not got it. And what that's, I think Rangers have had that. They've forced mm-hmm. the Celtic into areas where they want them to go and then they've pressed them. And the amount of times yeah, they stole the ball off them last week, I think it could have been more. Mm-hmm. In these transition moments, had they had the quality, 
and the decision making <laughs> right at the top end of the pitch, they yeah. would have got more opportunities to score based on how they were set up and how they were organised off the ball. Their energy was Aye. was unbelievable, and I think I think Todd Campbell's a big part of that. As much as he's, he's been brought, he? as much as he's been brought in everybody's minds to be this player to affect the game, his, his work ethic is they got incredible. Him high up the pitch as well, didn't they? Because did, a lot they, of the time got him up high, he's right? playing off that right yep. where he's having to chase Greg Taylor back in these games, yep. and he's doing a lot of hard work mm-hmm. back the way. But you want him on the pitch high up affecting but I also think he's, he is really really important to Rangers <laughs> how they press yeah. because he, he's, got, he's got great energy and great legs but they're not, I thought Rangers were, were brilliant well worthy of their, their 3-0 Celtic had their chances yeah. but if you, you flip the last two games Rangers had chances in the cup semi-final they had chances that Celtic part never took them Celtic did this game Rangers took their chances O missed a chance a bad missed a chance even that one we owe it like you're saying Oh, he should have played Kyogo, but if he scores that goal, oh, you you're looking it, yeah. going, oh, what a decision, decision, what a player, what a player Celtic yeah. have got in their hands, so you take, you need to take your chances yeah. when they come, they did me. big moments, mate. I think over the, over the last few games, probably Celtic over the last you know number of weeks, they've, they've not been at the level, mm-hmm. whether it's against yep. Rangers, uh, drawing at home to Motherwell, they've, they've, they've not been at that, that aye, they? they've not been at that level, and when, when Ange came in, he says, I'm no bothered I'm not focusing on results, I'm focusing on performance. And everybody was like... So that you what? think that'll so, be a concern for them, how they've maybe went think it's a just concern. to stumble? No stumble over the line, because they've, they've no. But mm. like you say, they're one of the best at Mullaway. Well, they're probably one of the best at Hearts or Rangers. Yeah. Like they're kind of, the, the season's kind of... I think it's mere, it, re- em, it emphasises his point. Yeah. If you perform at the level, you'll get results. Yeah. And if you're not performing, you might about. get results, but ultimately that's going to run out. You can't yeah. keep... Aye. You kind of keep getting into games and, and just getting by. Some par performance. Because right. when it comes to the crunch and if you're playing a big game and you've not played well and you've won, ah, you go, listen, we've won the game, s- sign a good side. But the long term and the way that he has spoke for you, come in is performance, performance, performance. If we get performances, we'll get more results than we won't. But I think that there has been a, a wee bit of a, a drop in the level of performance. But Rangers, Rangers were, they deserve to win the game. They were excellent. The way that they set up, the way they went about it, the chances they created, yeah. their energy, and that was a ninety-minute performance for them it as was, well, aye. which is something yep. that they've no managed to do. So fair play, it was it was a deserved victory. See, when Celtic had some amount of credit for the recruitment, but seeing that game, does it maybe show that Celtic maybe need to strengthen? You always need to strengthen. You always need to strengthen. But see, so see guys like just say like Kobayashi oh. and and, <clears throat> and Burnaby. Is that going to be damaging that game for them for their Celtic career? Uh, maybe less so Kobayashi only because he's no played that much yeah. and he's no been in that long he does look a bit though, doesn't he Kobayashi he does physically I think in the, in the games against <clears throat> the, the lesser teams that he played against Kilmarnock and apparently it was the best game that Celtic had played all season they're phoning up in what was it 27 minutes he looked very very yeah. comfortable he looked composed he's, he's passing and everything looked really really good uh, well you fast forward a month and now and he got bullied for the second goal yeah. by, by Big John. Mm-hmm. Uh, looked rushed, didn't look as composed as what he had. Maybe maybe it's that game, maybe it's the fact that Rangers were all over them. Uh, there's no fans, the support's against again. It's, it could be an intimidating place to play. So, But that's why that's why they played. Aye. That's why Angel have played mm-hmm. them, to test them, to see, look, it's all very well when we're 4-0 up away at Kilmarnock after 27 minutes and you've got all the ball with 80% of possession. What's it going to be like when this team, because they're going to come at you, because yeah, yeah. they have done the two previous games, but the energy that Rangers showed that time really exposed certain areas that Celtic did. Even, even Ralston looked, I mean, when Ralston's came in and, and been an able deputy, whether it be for uh, Juranovic. Juranovic or, or Johnson, I thought he looked a wee bit off at it. Again, he looked like he hadn't played for a while. I, I think it helps us with, um, with the guys coming, even maybe Burnley coming, see if you've got your... Carter, yeah, Carter Vickers there as well, yeah. your main ones that keep it right and then Obviously. they'll come in and sort of fit in there but when he's not playing, um, Johnson's out as well. That's, that's what Rangers have got with Goldson, like when Goldson's yeah. not played, when it was Suter and Davies, Rangers were shipping goals left, right yeah. and centre. By the way, the, the one that, like, yeah, there was the mistakes at Celtic Park by both of the centre-backs, but the one they making like really bad mistakes, mm. But they just didn't look as solid as having that solid influence of Goldson or a Carter Vickers next to them. Because if 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 Carter Vickers was next to Kobayashi, he'd probably look better. If uh, if John Suter's next to Goldson, he'll look better. Like some players just influence and make people better. And I think Carter Vickers is a big, big player for Celtic. When he's been missing, they've not been at it. I mean, again, even you go back to the, like the one defeat they had previous, he wasn't playing. Aye. 
You know, and, and they were all at sea that day in terms of their defence and the goals they lost were really, really poor. I think Taylor as well. I keep mentioning him, but Taylor, if you're Aye. Kobayashi left centre-back you want to go and play forward it's and you're that. getting it back all the time. Yeah, 100%. And, and you're the one that's having to play it. Whereas if you get to Greg Taylor, then he'll try and... I'm, no, I'm, not, I'm making it Greg Taylor's a, a world beater, but he'll take the ball under pressure Aye. and see if he does not, he'll drop into that wee space and see if he's picked up, then you can miss him and you can pick Hitati who peels into that wide area. So... There is a, there is a, it's the nature of the game. People get carried away, and rightly so, because it means so much. But ultimately, Celtic are sitting comfortable in the league. They've won the league. Yeah. They're gone for a treble. Um, it does show that there, may, there will be players coming in. I don't think it, that would have been, the manager's not going to go, oh no, we've lost the game, and, and we need to bring, make wholesale changes. The plans would have been in place. He's shown that. Right. He the makes every, that. You say that every window. He said that right at the start. Every team, you, you can't stand still. You know, Celtic, there's no way Ange or no. anybody at Celtic's now going to be sitting back thinking, right, we've won the league by 10 points, whatever it is, or however it finishes. Uh, we're fine, we'll just go. To, they're, they're going to look to strength and they're going to look to go again. They're going to use to look, you're going to look to use some of this Champions League money to highlight the areas of the team where they feel they can strengthen. Or, by the way, it might be even a, on a broader scale, looking at, right, okay, Champions League stuff, we maybe yeah. need better quality than maybe we need a better backup for Kyogo. Maybe we need a better backup for Taylor. But or even, maybe we need a better backup, backup and centre back. Because what you would do is say, right, how can I improve this team? Mm -hmm. I need to sign a player that is going to feel that they can come into the team that's at the level to come into the team that also threatens the pl the person in that position yeah. to say man I need to up my levels here because this guy's come in but if you've got guys that are coming in where you see them in training you watch them in games you look at them and say I'm better than him and your boy's a perfect player. example Taylor that's what you mean you're going <laughs> on about Taylor Benaby's £4 million pound. He's I coming. He in, four million pound was reported so I mean, whether it is or it isn't but it's, it's a decent yeah, sum no matter what so it was reported that. for £4 million quid. he's come in and and if we were sitting here this time last year aye. and we were asked what position the Celtic needs to strengthen, 100%, everybody said left back. Aye, aye. So they went and spent three, four million quid on a left back. Taylor's just went bang. I'm not giving my shot up. And that, to be honest, like, I don't know the boy well, you've maybe worked with him, Farry. That shows the mindset that you aye. need to play at these clubs. When somebody comes in, at, no mm. matter how long you're at that club, like Callum McGregor, how many centre midfielders have came into Celtic in his time as a Celtic player? Nailing or replacing him. Oh, exactly. But that's not just because oh, it's Callum McGregor, he's no, got a jersey. No. That's because every single week, every single day, he's <laughs> on it. And he's like, I'm not giving my, my, my spot up. I'm mm -hmm. staying in this team no matter what. How sign as many midfielders as you want. They're coming in to play next to me. They're not taking my slot. And Taylor showed you need that. that. You need that threat. He needs to keep you on your on your toes and you need to keep bring players. You also need to bring, when players come in, you look at them and say, can he help us? Is he good enough for us? Mm -hmm. Whether you're directly against them or no, Players come into your team, you go, let's see what you've got, and you test them, and you see, has he got, has he got what, it, what it needs to, to come in and help us? And if they've no, then they're quickly, quickly found it. Kenny, does that <clears throat> performance give Rangers fans a lot of optimism for next season? It was gave me optimism. Uh, to be honest, again, I'm, because you're outside it and you're looking, you're from the outside looking, and I've seen positives in the, in the, in the defeats. I thought the Rangers, like, again, high. they've been won on yeah, yeah. lost on small moments. Again, Michael said it. Talk about box to box. Both teams are very good. Celtic were better in both boxes in the in the in the game at Celtic Park and, and probably the games all season. To be honest with you, they've been better in both yeah. boxes. The differences are very minimal, in my opinion. They've been won and lost on moments, mistakes, or or moments of, of brilliance. Mm -hmm. So, I think that performance has got to give Rangers fans hope. I think what else should give them hope is if the first two signings of Michael's, mm -hmm. uh, his first two signings that he's made, Raskin and Cantwell in January, if they're anything to go by and you can get more players of that ilk in over the summer, then there could be a, it's going to be a different Rangers team come opening day yeah. next year. And there's no doubt about that. There might be four, maybe five guys that started for the game on Saturday mm -hmm. still in that starting lineup. There might be five, six new faces uh, in the starting lineup come the first game of next year. So, it uh, definitely gives you hope and I think it wasn't just the result uh, I think they needed it so they were playing maybe with a greater energy with a greater edge uh, to their game than probably what Celtic were but uh, I, I just think the manner it was like I thought I thought Cantwell ran over the top of them I really yeah, did I mean again he's been but so is Raskin by a bit in a different way Raskin's done it in a wee bit more kind of I mean, a quieter could, way he was getting a bit further forward as but well but they do that as well play, see when Jacko's the there though because Jacko they're clever enough to sit 
to allow one or two of them to then go in a little bit higher up. They've got that kind of discipline and that, that brain about them that whoever it is that's doing it, because Jack will get forward yeah. as well. They, 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 they all take their times in the moment, the right moments to kind of get forward and support. But uh, they two have been brilliant shiners. There's a different way of playing as well, wasn't it? Because the fullbacks weren't they like high and wide bombing on as much I, And they, had, they knew they had to be well organised and they were at it. Of course, if you're a Rangers fan, you've got optimism that you can go and compete next year. Um, but... As long as they see the signs aye, coming in the summer. Aye. Like the, the right level coming, of signings, aye. Celtic will we'll sign aye. players as well. Mm -hmm. So, and you're looking at, you're, you're gutted with the team selection. Yeah. Johnston, Carter Vickers, Taylor, Kyogo, Maida. That's five players to come in aye. to the team. Plus any new signings that come Plus in and the jersey. So, the, although, aye, you take the positives for that one, you know that, Without signing a player, Celtic are better than that. Be stronger. They're better than that. So, but it makes it, it. That's that's what happens when you've got to when you've got a team that's so far ahead. The other team either, you know, tries to keep up or they're left behind. So you're going to see a better Rangers next year, no matter whether they win the league or no, or they challenge for the league. You're going to see a better Rangers because they have to be better. And I think they've seen. I think actually Michael's made them better as well. To be honest, in terms of his coaching, in terms of. Getting a, a different a different energy about the group because they looked done. They, would they looked think done they'd have won, well, they wouldn't have. I'm, I'm about to ask you anyway. With Kent and Morelos in the team, do I think they would have won? In the, well, listen, it's a. It's, I mean, you'll, you'll never know. What I would say is they've no showed the energy that yeah. the other boys have shown mm -hmm. in that game. Like they've, they've had chance after chance, and they've been good players and big players in these games as well. Uh, but this season, they've no shown that level of energy. What about McCrory? Aye. I thought he was excellent. He was good against Aberdeen as well. Really good. Uh, he made a couple of good saves in that game. Uh, I just, I think you got again. You look at the moments. Matt O'Reilly should he go low? Does he go? I, I think he's done a lot right with, with the Aye. finish. But the save was sensational. Aye, That's the types of saves that a Rangers goalkeeper needs to make. Definitely a Rangers goalkeeper is going to be replacing Alan McGregor because he puts points on Aye. the board in these big games, whether it be European games, whether it be old firm games, cup finals. He makes the saves in, in the big games. Robbie's had four games for the Rangers, four clean sheets, four ones, uh, two old firm games. Uh, so but not just his saves, like half his reading line. the game I and half his line, yep. snuffing out attacks. I, I still four games is not a, a big sample size to, to to judge him, but it's all we've got. You know, it's all we've got. I don't think he's done any self any harm. But if the speculation's true and Jack Butland right. is close to being signed or he has been signed or they're looking at signing him. He's coming as number one. That'd be a good signing, wouldn't it? Uh, I Butland's think it's the good, type of profile you need to sign to replace Alan McGregor. Uh, uh, you know, I think it's no, it's no fair to say, but Robin McCrory stepping in to be the number one at Rangers after Alan McGregor, I think it's a big ass for him. Who I did, really do. Who did Griggs step in for? Who did he step for? He was close, close aye. Done yep, right, didn't close, he? Close, aye. He did. He did. <laughs> so, I, what can happen? But again, I know we didn't know that then, but Alan McGregor's exceptional. Aye. Exceptional. Well, he's all, he right. was like that as yeah. a, a young always, player. Always, always well. exceptional. I still, if, if, if Jack Button gets signed, he comes in as a number one. Steve, your bill, you'd, you'd want to keep McGregor, though, wouldn't you, about the place? Goalkeeping coach or something. Yeah. What about the guy that's already in? Charles, you've been in. Two of them. <laughs> assistant. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah, assistant. Well, assistant goalie role, coach. <laughs> assistant goalie coach. Never been I'm, sure, I'm, I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's clubs now. I've got that by the amount of staff that are at clubs now. But no, I, I agree. I think boys like him, Devo, uh, I think there's roles within the club for them. I mean, again, there's been a lot of change at Ibrox and, and Murray Park over the last couple of months, isn't there? So there might be roles maybe further down the line to build them Direct up into these roles. For oh, no, that's not for him. <laughs> <laughs> that's not for him. Maybe the social convenience. Is he, that's see, it. It, it seems like he's such a character, right? But he, is, he, is he also dead quiet enough? You know, he's... He, he, uh, aye. aye. He is. Like, you know, he, he gives nothing away. He, he does kind of now try and keep himself to himself. Uh, but a brilliant character listen he's a winner like see he's a worker like he's a proper yeah. pro like he's this is the thing that a lot of people don't really he's a proper pro he's, he is first in like in that gym he's going through his routine and he has been I think for a young age when he had, a, he had a, yeah. a, an injury to his hand when he was when he was younger when I first went to the Rangers in 2000 so he was what a couple of years younger than me so he would have been maybe 17, 18 and he had a bad injury to his hand and I, I don't know he just seems like and from when I went back he's just got his routine 
and it's been constant now for his career, I think. Eh? He just goes through the process. Everyone needs to do to get ready for training. He does his bits and bobs after training. He just goes about it quietly, does his business. But he's a top pro, and this is what I'm saying. To, to come through as a, a young player, you have to be exceptional right. at Rangers and Celtic. And, and he was. Mm -hmm. But his he's whole attitude to... Mentality is... Training yep. is... Is it? Uh, like, you can't score a goal where he'd ever accept <laughs> that he couldn't have saved it, ever. No matter penalties, we'd line up and oh, take penalties. Ah, jammy, spawny, what a new skill. <laughs> oh, your Dane's gone for power. Like, and know how if the goalies are out their line and you roll it and go, hey, no, that's not going in the back of his net, mate. He's not letting like that roll in. No, it plus in a pro, Relentless, pro, like, ev all day, yeah. every day at training. Wow. Real mentality. Again, that's why he's playing to, what is he, 41 yeah, he's now? so angry, isn't he, during yeah. the games? I think he has got angrier, to be fair with age, yeah. Mate, right. oh, <laughs> just funds it. Mate, I, I, he's I, had to step up in, in terms of his leadership. So, right. he, he, whereas he's played in teams yeah. with big characters before and everybody's almost accepted, right, it's Griggsy. He can do what he wants because he's, he's that good. Whereas... He got to a spell where it's right. Where's the where's the characters? Where's the leaders? And he he had to step up. But aye, some of the some of the I just <laughs> love seeing chasing it. I'll, chasing I'll, people fifty. Yeah, I love seeing it when the ball comes through to him, and it's maybe a uh, he's getting he's always getting there first, but he always grabs it. It's always uh, a, there's always an elbow thrown at somebody or a wee leg just getting. Would TV it. folk in the dressing room to people? Now I think I more so now. Uh, he, he always was. He would always have his his points to say and points to when make. When he say a lot, but but, but you're right when. He, Previous kind of teams that he's played in, there would have been there would have been other guys in there that would have been kind of saying this type of stuff. He would always be thinking because you speak to him and he's, you know, he knows his stuff. Like he's not just a damn bully. He's intelligent he stuff, as well. Right? He's a clever guy. He is just, he? Uh, he's a clever guy. <laughs> Apparently, <I. laughs> no, no, he is. He's got. He doesn't really seem convinced with that. Listen, there. he's not. He's not. He is. He is he's, he's not a daft. Guy. Like he comes across that, maybe that way sometimes. I don't know, but he is. He's. He's, he's got a good head on his shoulder. <laughs> it's hard to believe, but he's intelligent. He's a good guy. By the way, how, this is, I've just come up with this one here. Oh, brilliant. I love these ones. No, no, no this, See, is, this is, is why you're top man. No, 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 this is <laughs> really serious. How um, important is it Rangers qualify for the Champions League to stay, we're talking about, to stay away Celtic though? Because if Celtic have now got that Champions League money, how, I mean, that's going to be really difficult. I think what Nadie's really mentioned in any media outlets. Celtic have had Champions League money for, for years. Good question. It's like when we dig at the end of <laughs> They never had that money when they won the league. So, is it important? Of course, it's going to help. Is it going to define whether you win or lose the league? No, it's not. But obviously, getting the 25, 30 million pound, whatever it is, what it does, it allows you to probably prepare further doing the line Rangers are preparing now without this money do you think they'll speculate a wee bit more this year because when they won the game against PSV Gio was quite vocal about no getting yep. players that he wanted do you think they'll oh, wow. gamble a wee bit more this year on it I think it depends on what gets done in the summer as well but I, th I think if they were to qualify you're still going to have what still a month I think pretty much of the, the yeah. transfer window left maybe just under a month it gives them the opportunity they can go again if they want to but I think their, their transfer Business by all accounts, a lot of the, the targets are in place. They're getting a few deals over the line. What that will do if you can get that that windfall coming in around about the start of August, or you know it's going to be coming, it allows you to maybe prepare a wee bit more towards the end of August when it go, does kick off Aye, and go crazy, just, and you might have a few injuries. You maybe need to actually kind of step in. But just with the, it's important obviously for them to get the Champions League. But as you say, they've they've got with it before. But they need to start the season now. They need to have, have, to start uh, you need to have your team in yeah. as quick as 100%. you can. 100%. Yeah, well, I think if you listen, when I mean, you listen to Michael's press, he's been doing a lot of this stuff and, and Ross's abstinence has right. been doing a lot of the work behind the scenes in, in terms of the recruitment. So I would imagine that come first day pre-season, I would be very surprised if there at least no four or five new faces in the building in the first day. Because right. you're right, and it's, it's, generic, it's a kind of generic statement because everybody wants the players done the business done early no. and all the players in for, and it just doesn't work like that as we know but I do think it is important for Rangers that they do get probably key positions I think that need to be yeah. replaced need to be in, like if you come back first day pre-season mm. there's no been a goalkeeper signed or a striker signed there's going to be a like the, like the fans are going to kick off you know because they're going to be looking at thinking well these are key positions so I would be very surprised if these types of players are not in the building first day pre-season four, five, six new faces in because uh, you're right, Rangers have to start well next year. And that comes with a massive, probably first game of the season is going to be a big Champions League qualifier. So it's, uh, aye, it's going to they be a... The only the flip side of that, you would have said that when Ange went in. 
100%. They have to yep. get everybody in, and people mm-hmm. were quite vocal about the fact that Eddie Howe dragged on and Ange couldn't come in and, and start and they couldn't get the players in. So look what happened, I, yep. yep. Fascinating stuff. I want to ask you, I never asked you this, have you ever had a chance to move, assuming you played like that, say, oh, mid-twenties, thirties, a chance to move abroad and play? Aye, loads of chances. Yep. Did you ever fancy it? Went to Turkey, that was abroad. Before that? I went to Vancouver after that, that no, was abroad. Just before you that? You had chances to go to Aye, so big leagues, didn't you? I, uh, to ah, chance, that's what I mean. So there's, a, there's a couple of chances to Italy. They won her. That was some performance. Because uh, literally it was Honestly, off the back, like, off the back that. of that. Yep. Was it? Yeah, a kind of random yep. ragged. It was, uh, again, off that, there was, there was, there was a free transfer that year. So there was, there was opportunities. Uh, when I left Rangers to go to Turkey, actually, I, I said I was supposed to go to Fiorentina. And uh, it fell through. It fell through. There was a couple there was a couple of opportunities in Germany as well. If I'd waited to the end of the season or pre-contract, but I didn't want to wait. I didn't. I'd already decided I was going to go at that time. Uh, and I just agreed every what, few what teams in Italy after that performance because it was Roma was, it was, it? Roma was, was one. It exceptional. I can't remember. Uh, it was amazing. Mate. Roma, amazing. Roma was was real. It was a pre-contract. There was a lot of talk. Uh, Shine with you. I know, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> mental. That actually came about again. It came about as a potential loan when I was uh, at Celtic as well. But there was a bid on the table, and I think it was Peter would not let me go on loan. So it was a permanent transfer or not. Yeah, you watch it. So opportunities, yeah, it I. Decent, a few opportunities, some, I. Scored some goal and all. Who was uh, that? Was that Nesta and Cannavaro? Aye. Got both their jerseys as well. Did you? Aye. Be that good, you did. Did they give you? I was not going to get one that game. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid. I was afraid. Well, I might be for different games, actually. I might be for different games. I got them. I was injured. Uh, I was in the stand watching uh, it. Marvon at it. Tremendous performance. Uh, one, one of the game better ones. Well, so Unbelievable. Right. It shows you one game, you can get a move off the bat of one game if it's against the right opposition. That's incredible, aren't it? They two defenders well, right, enough of you the day. Right. We're going to get right into the relegation now. Oofed. By the way, I can't believe this. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, Dundee United were safe. We, we, we almost came out of head fighting. But I said this last week, I think... Then I must win now. The, the, the players potentially thought they were safe and know that they've decided to drop their levels, just but that, that edge drops. just isn't there. Yeah. And they think, we're, we're safe, F- playing against teams that are only safe, that are fighting and scrapping. And if you draw a slight, slight bit of your level, bear in mind they're in the relegation. Aye, so so they've been, been there level already. Aye. So I think that it's clearly come back to bite them. No, I don't think the preparation's been any different. I don't think what the manager's doing or saying's any different. I don't think the the kind of mentality of the players in terms of their conscious is any different. I just think they've maybe thought three games. We can no, no switch up. I know exactly what you mean. The, the, the relief, yep. the pressure's gone. No, the pressure's on massively for them. Must win, isn't it, Livy? They have to win, aye. I mean, they it's actually a good team to be playing the new, isn't it, though? They can't buy a winner. What is, I mean, that is crazy what's happened there. That, that looks like a team that have proper win in the holiday yeah. mode. Like, and this was, by the way, 10 games before the split. Aye. Like, they, they had, they've just had a really, really poor run of form. Uh, which I'm surprising with, with Davey and with that team. I wouldn't and I, expect that for them. I, would I wouldn't expect that for that team because they just, with the tug in us, at the start, I had them nailed on top six for, for most of the season. Nailed on. Because uh, <clears throat> when Livingston turn up, you know what Aye. Livingston are giving you. And at the moment, it's really unlike a Livingston team, is what you're seeing for them. It's great lessons for, no for Davey, because I don't think he, he would drop his standards, expectations. A great lesson for the players that play for Livingston. If um, you want to play, you have to beat your level every single week mm-hmm. because you'll get plaudits throughout your, your career. As soon as you start believing them and you stop working, then that's what happens to you. It's poor that I don't, I don't, I, 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 I'm starting to get right annoyed with players the amount of times managers get the blame for everything. I know it falls on them, but I mean, just, mm. I mean, some players just get away with murder. See, when you were a player, well, if you didn't play or things weren't going well, was the first person you blamed yourself or did you look at somebody else and go, he doesn't like me, I've never done that, I've not trained here, I've not done that. But you look for an excuse ha- as a player. But, but I know, but see, see when I played no matter, I mean, very little, but I would, I would always blame myself. Uh, but you, you were a doubter. You nah, doubted I yourself. Myself. But Jake players, they almost want to look for excuses and... Some, no, every player, but sometimes it's, you know, I maybe didn't train that day or the manager's not p- picking me or... I, you know, he'd got my back, somebody else had a go at me. 
Um, I think players can do it. Not, not every player. But when you drop your levels, as That's I say, that. the goals, like Livingston, hard team, they get all the plaudits, hard team to play against, well organised, love defending, really good attacking players, probably don't get the credit they, they're due, but the way that they've been defending, the goals are conceding, it's just no, it's no, no Livingston. It's no they're just lucky they actually had a good, yeah. a really good first 25 Five games to be fair because they were, they're, they're, ne they're never even falling into the, no. into the relegation fight, you know, so they've had a brilliant kind of 25 games of the season, it's just not been good the last 12 or 13, but it's, uh, it's, it's a good fix of that for the United, isn't it? You would think with the with their form, um, aye, but less as a bite back, aye. and there's some kind of response. You, you would still, although we're, we're saying you know Levy have not been at the level. It's not that David Martindale's going to be saying, right, we're not at the level. Can't wait the season's finished. I just keep doing that. It'll be right. Show something because the players are, you know, talking about leaving. They they need to finish. They, they want to finish the season well. Teams will be looking and, and maybe or or have some of these players marked and say right he's on a list of player and if they perform if they actually watch the performances they might go nah, he drops and there's the always the there's always the money much. available as well for the placings as aye, well and I think it's really important for these three teams aye. I don't know it could be 50 grand 100 grand 200 be, grand I think a place. between 6th and 7th I think it's 200 grand a place sorry between 7th and 8th like it's, like that's, that's a lot of money for, for these clubs you know so 4 still, players for Livy absolutely. 5 players for Livy absolutely so there's still that to think as well and there's no doubt the guys above will be I'll be thinking about that as well. <clears throat> I'm trying to be in sync. When you've been talking, they've been trying to do the maths in my head here now. What for? More trouble. If Dundee United win, right, v Levy, it puts them up to <clears throat> 34. Right. Now, <clears throat> then you look at Kelly at home to St Johnston. Kilmarnock will be out if they win. Am I right? Aye. No matter what, they jump St Johnston. So they'll be, if, if Kelly win, they're, they're above. St Johnston. No, they'll not be out it. Who, Kelly or Dun Dundee United? No, Kilmarnock. Oh, yeah. well, they no, no, they'll not out it. No, because no, I don't know actually rank any. If if he's three, a bit mellow, well, you mean you. out of it all together? Oh, with the two games to go. <laughs> no, no. no, I thought you meant they'd be out of it. <laughs> right, I only got right. Figure it out. Go. No, so uh, <laughs> Kamalik St Johnston. Right, I, I can see. I only see lads. I can only see a Kamalik win there. Right, at home, you would expect Kamalik to be uh, fair point. Aye. You're saying that Ross County play Motherwell, they're not going to win. So. I mean, Mother, that is another Mother one. one. Motherwell v Ross County, that seems like a, a home win scream out at the performances. And they've been banging at Ross County. And score on so many goals as well. Uh, Motherwell off. beat them earlier in the season and all five now up there. They'll be, they'll be out to, to try and avenge that. I think at this time it's hard to predict. See, when you, when you say it's when you're fighting for your life, you've seen like up north of the border, south of the border, mm. teams produce incredible yeah. results. At times of the season where you just think there's no way they could win that game and uh, and they produce these moments uh, so it's, it's too hard to predict when you're fighting for your life uh. that's why like, you're Dundee United Livingston and Livy are no fighting for their life yeah Dundee United are they need to find the levels that brought them that three wins in a row Kenny, who drinks more and their levels are yeah you're right it's incredible it's incredible that job he's doing it? brilliant Kenny who do you think is the most worrying for looking at the, the fixtures and looking at the points what team I think you've got to. Be, it's got to be United. United for, for the size of again for the size of a club in our country. That is a disaster. They've done the Dundee United again. I mean they've been up and down. They've been up and down the last kind of few seasons. So, but I think for Dundee United because I, I think they by all accounts spend a good bit of money on their players and their squad. They're four three points away for the even for the playoff. If they do get beat against Livingston at the weekend again results depending, it could be a long long way. But I think they need to win at least two of the three Dundee United. They've two, got three. Kelly at home and Motherwell away after this one. So no bad fixtures, not against the bottom six, so they're always going to be favourable, you would think, but it's uh, going away to Motherwell. I wouldn't really like easy. to begin into that game, haven't you, one? Yep. So it's Motherwell the last one? Aye. And Dundee to come on, that's, that, that could potentially be... An, a, a, but do you know what they're doing? You're winning your safe. It well, could Kelly, be one of the games you're winning your safe. Kelly Ross County, last game of the season. Listen, it's an exciting end. It really is. It's too hard to predict. But uh, this is you hate this split. This is amazing. No, do you know what? I amazing. did hate this split up it's until amazing. this season yeah. because it's that, this isn't happening anywhere in the world. This will go to the last day of the season. Right. Last yeah. game. And there's four. The question is, do, if, the, well, if Command that, won, depending on what happens this week, if Command won, if Command won, beat us, if Command won, just turned into you for a minute there. <laughs> if Command won, St Johnston just gets sucked in back into this playoff. So ah, maybe definitely. even relegation. It's like ah, it's, it's proper exciting. Outstanding, boys. Yep. This is proper exciting. Day. By the way, see, I mean, it's something. It's left me sleepless. Is it? 
own coil and Gary Boyer. Gary Boyer, that I mean, could have been a while there, couldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe they're all put all oh, they did. They've got it done now. You just need to read. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it. So, but boys, right honestly, there, I know. Right I, there. Do you know what? I was like, I can't fucking see his name there, but I knew his name. Um, <clears throat> breaking news, that wasn't it? Aye, Top week. two teams in championship. <laughs> <laughs> breaking news last two, week. Two, <laughs> breaking news last week. <laughs> two, by the way, boys, honestly, listen. <laughs> did you not talk about that last week, no? I no, it was there last week. <laughs> it was just after that, wasn't yeah. it? But I mean, the two two brilliant seasons they've had. Um, have you got any insight in why Gary Boyer left? Because that to me is... It wasn't his choice. I know that. Oh, was it not? No. But how, where have you heard that I just, one? I just know it was. Gary really sorted that. He's keeping that one. I no, like that though. No, it I wasn't mean, his choice. It wasn't his choice. Dundee, well, I think Dundee that's... made that decision um, for him to, to leave. Um whether they had somebody lined up, that's not worked out the way they've, they've maybe hoped then. Because Cam Davis Cam's, rejected, Cam's it, rejected it. I know somebody else that's rejected it as well. Can I tell you who? Can I tell you? So I, know, I just know somebody else. I told you that before the show, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not rejected it. He's buzzing. He's like, keep, keep, keep knocking it back. <laughs> <laughs> um, but... I it was the Gary Boyer one for me was strange. I think initially everybody thought he must have had a job lined up. That's what I thought. I, I know what it is, isn't it? Uh, and Do you know him well? No, no. So it's not I don't know him. Now. I don't know him well at all. Um, and on Coyle leaving, I think that sounds like it was his decision, and, and Queens Park didn't want him to go. Whether sounds he's like he's just up. like got promoted by the finished fourth, mm -hmm. I think, in League One, get up through the Aye. playoffs, and go within one game to get him promoted to the Premier League. Maybe he's just thought, you know what. Maybe they were, just need to they were eight, eight, eight points clear I think at uh, one point it was a they'd signed Murray they sold him in January I think Akinyemi got 22 league goals as top goal scorer Simon Murray was on 15 and they sold him in January yep. and they just they, they missed him so, so that's a big mistake should they have just well I think Queen's Park and they've, they've said it are miles ahead of schedule Aye. To, to, for them to go up I mean I'm not saying they would have knocked it back but there's a lot of there's a lot of work still to be done, I think, for Queen's Park. Um I don't know if I don't know if Owen has got something else. I don't know if he just feels that he you doesn't want to. He could come into the reckoning for one of these jobs. Uh, eh? Oh he could come into the reckoning one of the jobs. He could come into the reckoning for maybe one of the jobs that are got these kind of uh, temporary managers as well. Because the job he's done, not just here, obviously throughout his his career as a manager, he's done it's a decent success pretty much most places he's been at. so he might he might fall into the category of a, I don't know what happens at Hearts what's going to happen at Dundee United what's going to happen at Dundee there's a uh, <clears throat> there's Stratton's other uh, in at Dundee isn't he I wonder if it was him that done made the decision on Boyer he must have had part yeah, of his job isn't he, he must have been part of him and him and John Nelms must have been must have been uh, Kind of joint again, other owners or it's whatever. No, it is. I, I've no <laughs> spoke to Gordon Strang. It's no, not I'm not I know you were <laughs> looking at me there. Have you really shined his eyes? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Strang's in there, isn't he? So, <laughs> who's going to be well suited for these roles then? <laughs> Owen Coyle. <laughs> uh, well, well, Carl Davidson's knocked it back. He would have been an obvious choice after doing a decent job at St John's. Pause it for me, job. Dundee, if he, would, if he would take it. It's just be a no brainer, but it's. Uh, it's whether he would be interested back that. to his hometown or not playing for a German style it depends style what in they there. want as well like um, to, to go and to go and let a, an experienced manager go who's got you up and people might look at it and say well it, it should have been easier but the, you get the job done and you get promoted look at Hearts when um, they came up so it depends what they're looking for do they want well Callum's obviously Got experience in management, showing that it can be successful. Um, so they've they've clearly, you know, went for somebody with experience, or or is it, you know, back to the drawing board and they go and get somebody fresh with fresh ideas? Uh, it, it's it's a tough one because it's a it's a massive job, big yeah. club. It's a, it's a big tough expectation job. It's, as well. Going it's, it's up, probably a better it's probably a better job last year with the chance to go and win. Aye. It's going to be a tough year, I think, for mm -hmm. Dundee. Even this early, I think you look at them and there's probably a lot of work to be done on that team to get them yeah, I just hope if it is a if it is a young get a younger coach and the reason they appoint him is to build or bring something that obviously the, the interview process 
they believe him and give him time to go and do it Aye. and don't because it, it, as you say it's, it's much it's different job easy. it's tough yeah. it's mm-hmm. a tough job you look at James McPay before him got them up when he probably wasn't he fancied then you go up actually wins his last couple of games and they get rid of him mm-hmm. I, I hope it's no get a young manager in give him a chance bring him in for whatever reason they bring him in and then say oh, do you know what it's not working out because we're not getting results we, we wanted to bring maybe style but it's not it's not gone as well as, as, as but that's what we're saying that's where the clubs right clubs need Aye. to know what they want Aye. you know and they need to they need to have an idea of actually how they're going to do it as well then that manager aligns with that that vision you know and then they can move forward rather than just constantly oh, well we got beat 1-0 today the and then we've lost three games in a row see if you get if you're bottom of a league and you're marooned at the bottom come <clears> Christmas the, the, <throat> the reality is you're probably going to lose your Aye. job whoever it is but it's like the, the, the very start of it, the clubs need to understand what they want because right. you're saying they've went for an ex- they've let an experienced manager go do they want another experienced manager or do they want to go for a, a younger fresh one like they need to actually know that do you think uh, to, um, we Gordon would take it? no I don't think so they might have to they might be if everybody keeps knowing it back then they might need you, to you step in you used to strike a tight ain't you? you used to strike a tight? no no are you not? no not at all well, are you actually no, no? No. Oh, sorry, I thought you were. No, not at all. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, as for, for a one-on-one, that one. Yeah, I I don't know. Know. <laughs> right, boys, I don't know how we've managed to get through it, but we have, we're on to the Kootum now. Right. Do you want to ask Kenny? <clears throat> uh, you're going to have a shot. I'm going to go with Will Groon, but you ask Kenny and then I'll ask you and then Kenny, you can ask me. Oh, <laughs> that's just been missing, honestly. Yeah, that, see that, that, that level of organisation is right up there, Max. Right, right up there. Tremendous. Right, but you ask Kenny. Right. You ask me, all right? Right, I'll, go, I'll actually go with the big ones. Kelly St. Johnson, don't know if that's a big one in terms of their favourites, aren't they? No, that's all right. I'm going to draw. Are you? I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. See a big Aye, one? I'm, I could be a draw a lot. See you get a big one? Aye. Uh, Has he? No, no, <laughs> don't. It's <Sorry. laughs> been so good, sorry, serious. Sorry, don't stick sorry, to the levels sorry. of the guy that normally sits there, all right? Uh, Hearts Aberdeen. Draw. Two yeah, draws, so by, I, I had four out of four like the last that. time. Was did it? you? Man, the last time I was on this cube, so I'd, I'd nailed it. Four out of nine. Who have I asked you? Levy or Dundee United? I'm going to go United. Wow. So I'm going to go United. Motherwell Ross County. Motherwell. Are we doing them all or just four? Just four. <laughs> Celtic. What's that? Four, four, four done, brilliant. Celtic and Rangers. Hey. Brilliant, right? You I'm done. ask me. Right. <laughs> Slaney. Celtic, sir, man. Celtic. Four four line. <laughs> Three nil. Three nil. Ah, what if yeah. he picks the same team? Hibs Rangers. Three nil for that. Hibs Rangers. Oh, that'll be a cracker. Here, sorry, th- this is one. Would you go with the same team again? Well, I, I think if you range based, well, I don't know his reasons. I w- I'll certainly ask him when I get a sit. Would you go with the same nice team life. again? If I was Ange, I would. If you're Ange, because there's no point in putting the guys you in. You slaughtered them for his team selection. No, last week. I, yeah, I wouldn't. Maybe right, I'm asking you. I'd would you? A, <laughs> I would run him right at the fucking corner. <laughs> 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 it helps Rangers. Kenny Miller, like that'll be that. Isn't it? One of them, aye. One of them, aye. Uh, um, could be tri- Rangers. Yeah. A good place in it. Hearts Aberdeen. That's a fucking coin. We've got an exhale. <laughs> He's still t- trying to like, figure out where Dundee United go for the win. And... <laughs> it's, it's a Gary Boy. I just can't remember what his name I was so close. He's Tim Lee Boy. I'm not joking. It's his brother, huh? Is that? No. <laughs> I mean, you're t- talking about Lee Boy last right, week or not? Right. Sorry, Hearts Everdeen. I would never go against my mate Andy Halliday. No. Uh, he's know a good he- shout for the job. Lee Boy. <laughs> <laughs> for what job? Dundee. I'm very good to Sammy Halliday. Done well at Charlton. Started well at Birmingham. Would he come to Scotland? I think that I, might, do you know what? I, I think he might know something of that because I, I don't know, know anything. You, I don't you know, know why. You, you don't Scottish no, football. You're, you do. You I know don't Scottish football. So you're going Hearts? <clears throat> Aye. Right, Motherwell, Ross County. I'm just going to tell you why. Go. No, 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 no,
That's no bad thing. No bad that. People look right rubbish, right? Here we go. Hearts Aberdeen. Um, You've done that. You've said Hearts Aberdeen. We've went to Mullerwell, Ross County. Mullerwell, Ross County, Mullerwell, Ross County you know. By the, way, by the way, you've been on fire today and you're having an absolute meltdown no, in the you, last two minutes. <laughs> Honestly. Do you know what? I actually, when you've kind of done the question, I just might feel like I'm going. I'm my best right. show yet. This is my favourite show yet. And you're uh, having an absolute meltdown. Well, this is Merlin Sky today, isn't it? This was Mercedes, <laughs> no, but it wasn't was, it was right. any other nonsense. I'll change it. I'm not, uh, really good. <laughs> Mellow Ross County, I'm going to go, you know. Here's one. Ross County. Big call. Right. Come on, Johnston. <laughs> Come on, look. Home record, and we'll finish with Livy, Dundee, United. They defended horrifically, Dundee United. And Goodwin actually called, no called them out, he had every right to do it. Um, but the defending was so, so poor. Um, and I think if Livingston can be a wee bit more direct, I think they could... That's a draw for me, that, do you know that? There you go, Dan. Right, you ask Fanny. Right, here we go, the one we'll be waiting on. Uh, I'm going to leave that to the last. We'll go with Hibs Rangers. Rangers. We will go... Kelly St Johnston. Kelly. Livingston Dundee United. Dundee United. Aye. Aye. No. Aye. 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 No, that's what you would do. That's up there. <laughs> and last but not least, Hearts Aberdeen. Hearts. Based on... You know, Daniel or two, no? Aye. <laughs> I just think that Hearts will get a win. Aye. Aye. <laughs> no. Aye. Say like St Mirren. Celtic. And Motherwell. What was the last one? And Motherwell. Oh, thank Motherwell. God you saved that there. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Just before, no, no, no. Before <laughs> this, is, this is the slainy five minutes of uh, mad questions. Before the two years go, <clears throat> five a side team that you're best you've played with. You've asked me this before. I've asked you. I've done this before. It's two. Aye. Give me, wait no, give me ten seconds to think. Oh, right. <laughs> no, we can't do that either. Could Just do. end it. Ah, you've done mine, so I've done mine. You don't want to ask him if he wants to do a travel show in the camper van? Do you think that'd be insane? We're going to go to a travelling show. Me, Faddy, signed Derek. What's well, like that? Uh, what's that? Do you know that? What's the show uh, mm. that flint off on us? That well, that is something uh, like that. Uh, they do that. So you're just caught in that, yeah? No, 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 no. It'd no. be good, a good value. Yeah, He's got another it's idea. What's the other one? Cooking show. Cooking it? show. No. He's not doing the cook off at uh, Amber Region. We'll I was in there on Saturday night. She was oh, saying, yeah. "Oh, they're going to do some cook off, and that they're going to come in." I'll give you a tenner if you can tell me the biggest celebrity's been in there. Don't know. Samuel Jackson. Samuel L. There you go. It's it was insane, in a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? Watch a show, it was a couple it? of weeks ago. And we were in there. We're going to cook off. See if you want to put. Have you got a million? A million pound and then you had to do any show. Then what would you do? What would you invest it in? Your cook off show. Clearly. No, before if you had to make your own idea. Bad. What would you like to get involved in? None, mate. Did you know? <laughs> just that was a really money. good question. Just, just two bad answers. <laughs> I'll uh, just keep it on any show. Tra uh, I like travelling. Travelling is good, isn't it? What would you do? Because you're uh, quite an uh, intelligent no, guy. No, I know, but no, I'm more interested in travels or cook offs. It would be something to be fit with. Be good to see you in a vlog for the Florida and the theme park, wouldn't it? Do you want me to do that? <laughs> I don't know how to work this. The selfie. Right, the boys, the boys, 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 boys on the computer. Are you? Oh, no. <laughs> you're right. Here, just sorry, before, who was the most impressive on your pro licence? Because the names you threw it. In terms of what the, the we never guys met up up up. We never met Just up when they presented who, I what, know that The guys that, on the course Or the guys that Presented the guys on the course. Who presented it Was it, mm. was it Flicking it Or were they, you know, were they on it No they were We were listening to them And we were to uh, report back I'll tell you who my favourite was Jesse Marsh He was, he was my favourite as well, eh? He was my favourite I thought he was, he was a fraud or not It was good because He was in at Leipzig uh, And that so Red Bull set up it? Because the Red Bull set up's good So hearing about that Red Bull set up Was a uh, I enjoyed him. I did enjoy him. I thought, uh, I actually know. enjoyed the question and answer Mourinho. Mourinho was good, eh? Mick Beal was very good as well aye. because he's very open, eh? So he gave, us, open, he gave us a lot of good information. Like, I think he was one that actually had clipped up some of the wee sessions and aye, things he that he'd done. He did a lot. So he was really good in that because he gave us... Uh, see, the next day he had his V2, V2 box thing. Uh, we want to add that in the, in the next you? day. His <laughs> 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 uh, really was good enough. Was he? Only because aye. he's like... Nah, I wouldn't go in unless I could take every member of staff with me. Uh, if you want a job now, just plan to be there for a year because you're going to get sat. They just like just being honest. <laughs> I do totally fucking. Martin S came on late as well. He was he was he was tea spoke on yeah. it as well. I'm not having him. <laughs> having who? Martin. Martin you know, I don't know how you can get Wigan really if they walk into Belgium. Go on the FA Cup with Wigan. Aye, but then just lay the foundations at Swansea for them to play the way they played under Brendan. Yep. But then after that. 
Wigan, oof, Everton, Everton. shit show. He done well at Everton. Belgium round the golden generation of Belgium. He done well at the start, Everton. <laughs> That's it, he's, he's, he's finished them off. That's mad, isn't it? So did they speak to you a lot, they guys? Because no, it should it be, a, that's what annoys me. It was me a after. presentation on Zoom. It would have been different if you were there, we weren't yeah. through COVID where yeah. you were in the room. You, but they, they were all asked, it was like, ask questions. It, there wasn't a, don't ask about this, don't ask about that. A couple of times, Mourinho was actually he's really, probably, yeah. he's like, is this, has this been recorded? <laughs> this goes no further and <laughs> saying stuff, and I'm not saying what he said, but he was brilliant. And he's mates Very with Wee Dougie, Dougie Anderson. That's right, aye. That's aye. mental, isn't it? I just don't like, I mean, but they, they, they mm. realise they should be there to make you a better coach. No almost throw you in and test, it's like a test. You should be le- you should be learning and becoming a better we coach. We loved the analysis ones, didn't we? Oh my loved goodness. <laughs> hard we work. went to Slovakia for the under-19s championship. And it was just relentless on analysis. Oh. Me and him are fucking, me and walking about looking for somebody with a computer. <laughs> right, mate, you finished there, are you getting on? <laughs> three o'clock in the morning, have you got an Instant license? Have you? <laughs> Going to show me how to clip that game up, will you? <laughs> oh, that, is, that shouldn't be put in it, though. It's three, it's three in the morning, and brilliant. we're going to present at nine, nine in the morning. And then you go again every day. Oh, my goodness. So did you need to put that we on got like, a, a, a we project, projector? Right. We right, got a I day off, we'll present, right? and he goes, right, he's like an into Bratislava cultural visit. I'd, I'd suggest you take your laptop. <laughs> the boys are sitting like that. We're like, have a day off, boys. Have a day <laughs> off. We'll do that later on. The, we'll do that later on the 93 in the morning. Well, what, <laughs> oh, Once we do get finished, is it too? We will have a wee hour. until three. Like, can you watch the room? <laughs> can we go to anybody? No, he's still got a wee while to go. What about you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, my recruitment that trip was brilliant. Just recruited some guys or all the guys that were top on the computer. Oh, no. ah, helpful. We <laughs> John took Max in, didn't he? He has, aye. He has, I seen that. We, Max I never knew, but I just seen, him, just seen him sitting on the dugout. Max game. Was, he was finished the assignment before the game was I'm finished. <laughs> he was ridiculous. <laughs> was he? I really good as well. Oh, Some I boys are right on it. Oh. Some boys are right that on it. Come, and that shouldn't come in, though, being good on computers. No, you have to be now. It's just getting the information and. It, and, and it's also putting fucking... the work in it. It's also been like, have, like <laughs> find the, go and put in the work in and show that you've. Again, the content yeah, that right. was there and how it was laid out wasn't that important. It was, I think it's more about testing you, putting you under and making sure you yeah, put I the love work in. I'd watch you turn the computers um, though, because right. that can be fucking so hard, can it? So again, we'll go, we're sitting in our bed one night, right? <laughs> so I'm in room with Foz. So we're on, and he's got the instant license, right? So I, I've got all my clips ready. Foz, you need to get, give me that f- computer. I need to do this, these clips. He's like, I'm kidding, I'm doing mine. I'm just doing mine. I'll do yours after. So I'm sitting, so it's half two in the morning. So I, I've been, well, I'm going to sleep. So I'm falling asleep. So I can just hear this on the computer. And then it was just that. Wake up, seven o'clock, Foz is not in his bed. So we're up till half three, Foz is not in his bed. Up, Foz is been thinking he's done all his computer, all his presentation. He's not saved it. He's not saved it. He's fucked, it. He's fucked the computer over. I wake up next morning. We've been sleeping for three, four hours. Look, I was falling in his bed. I'm going to do. He's downstairs at breakfast with a coffee. I never say no thing. I'm going to be dead again. Oh, you were all right because most of them you were in a pair or in a, a trio. Oh, but one of them you had to do a solo. And, and this one oh. was me and him. Me and Falls wow. were together as well in one. Wow. And we didn't have oh, footage. We goodness. didn't have the stuff that you needed. They're just what about going, please, somebody, just please help me. Boys are coming up me. with some amount of analysis, oh, stats, and I'm like, where are you getting yeah, all these stats from? Yeah? Hey, mate, somebody else is doing that. Where are you getting these stats from? Like, and guy and all that. Everybody right, else what's is what's like, ah, I'll be fine. <laughs> and you're looking, going, I've not seen you like doing anything. How have you got that? <laughs> Back to the analyst at the, oh, at the club, right? Send that in. I'd brilliant that. And boys, the only one I used to were doing that. I've seen them on Some of them you could go in and you to present whilst. The other boys watched to like uh, that the scout the recruitment boy. Yep. So he'd you'd stay, the first guy up go. This is what I think. Bang, I'd identify this player, and the boy would no pull them apart, but say, well, maybe think about this, think about that. And those boys sitting waiting to go. Finished, obviously finished. And the boy starts talking, saying, you should think about this, and you just see the laptop. <laughs> Get up, <laughs> boys, like bang, add me, add me, bitch. <laughs> then the next one goes. Then you go. And there's hit it with all the same if you stuff lash the guys do say. <laughs> <laughs> you lie, good you mate. Good you. Just sitting there. 
<laughs> you get the same presentation as well. I just say to Force, Force, just you put yours in blue text. I'll put mine in yellow text. <laughs> no, 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 the difference, right? Just you, if you put a blue background to yours, I'll put a red one on mine. We're, we're sorry, oh, that. Oh, oh, man. Oh, well, oh, what a track. Was a brilliant track. Is it? Any other beef to be playing? Well worth the 10 grand, wasn't it? Oh, it's a wings of that. That we used to back to what Nay food. <laughs> Nay food came back too late, we couldn't even get a coke at the bar. Oh, unbelievable. Well worth it, was it? Did he have no finish that you had? You still know that, don't you? I'd done 27 hours worth of Spanish in three days oh. <laughs> just to make sure I got past. But you need to do another language as well? Well, you need to put the hours in again, aye. Mm. Oh. Do I speak Spanish? See? Si. See? Si. Si. No. Mm. No. <laughs> Did you need your language? Yeah, never. Did thought. you speak German, didn't you? No. No. Can <laughs> you not feel no. good? No. Right, boys. Anyway, it's an absolute pleasure. Good shot. Well done, guys. <laughs>